yo, I'm so proud of your mom and I. Me too. Beth and I, years ago, and just starting to settle back in now, health-wise, we do, we were both heavily infested with mold and mercury. Yeah. Mercury from different things, um, but the mold from the houses that we had lived in. And Mm -hmm. we're both exhibiting symptoms, different symptoms, because, because it hits you different ways. Right. But like... Yo, guys, in Los Angeles, in one year, no exaggeration, if you count hotels and Airbnbs, we moved 15 times in one year. Calendar year, yeah. This counts six places with leases. Yeah. Well, there, was, there was one point where I had a lease. We technically were living in four places. I don't even know how you guys got out of all that still. It's crazy. Health. It was just health. And, and, and the, and the, the places we moved into didn't want, we were like, Hey, we just had the mold tested. It's through the roof. And they were like, we'll let you out of the lease. You just can't say anything about the mold. But who would we say it to? We didn't know the next people coming in. Yeah, absolutely. But we were, we've been good and sick and it's why we moved around a lot. And we finally have found, we've now moved into a place we're moving in now that's here in Vegas. That is when we were looking in Vegas in 2020, we drove into this neighborhood and we were like, this is where we would want to live. Dream of all dreams. Right. And, um, we are in that place right now. We moved in, uh, this past couple of weeks. Yeah. So, and, and so much of it is, is, um, has to do with the people who are listening to this podcast and people come to our shows. Mm-hmm. So thank you all so much, but super fucking cool, man, to mm-hmm. finally get settled in somewhere and Absolutely. feel, especially after so much. And for those of you, by the way, I would love to hear from any of you who have had any mold stories of your own. But guys, I will tell you something, man. There was one night, and your mom was really sick. Mm. Oh, yeah. She had, she had, she was exhibiting the worst symptoms for sure. Well, dude, I was gone three days out of the week. At yeah. least I got a reprieve. Right. You got, you had a little reset. When you went, when you left the house. Yo, dude, there was one night. I forget. I don't know if I ever told you this. The night I moved her, us out of there. Out of where? Out of that. I'm not going to say the name of the street of the house, but out of that house. W? For the street name? Sure. Yeah, okay. Um, I came home and she had, she had developed, dude, this yellowish gray hue on her skin. Whoa. She just looked sick. And I came home and she, she was, we started, she was just a little erratic. We both were erratic in that house. Right. She started punching the walls and Whoa. yelling at the house. It was almost like, we, and neither one of us knew what it was, but we had an idea maybe. Right. And um, she started punching the walls and yelling at the house and yelling at the house. Whoa. And I said, hey, she said, yeah. I said, go get in the car. Mm-hmm. We're never coming back. Yeah. She was like, what do you mean? I said, go get in the car. We're never coming back. Yeah. And we talked to the mold people who were like, I was like, I want to go get my stuff. And they were like, treat it like a fire. Anything you bring from there that has the mold spores will get into everything else. Yeah, guys. We, we, you lived in the same pair of pants. That was sweatpants. Jacob Wolf. For, we were both near 50 when this happened. Yeah. And to all the things we had accumulated over our life, mm-hmm. We're all, just all of my memorabilia, anything that I had picked up from a show, from college, anything, up until that, family pictures, gone. Yep. I have zero of it. I don't have any of the clothes. I don't, I, and I'll tell you, and same with your mom, no I mean, books, the, no. The, the pictures are in storage. Like all the, all the, 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 family the sentimental stuff yep. is in storage. And we're just figuring out how to, how to clean it out. Yeah. But I will tell you what, what a great lesson. It honestly, as traumatic as it was, do you know what it, <laughs> both your mom and I over COVID were like, yeah, no big deal. Yeah. It was, it was kind of nuts. The, b- b- because we had, we had realized and figured out because of the mold. And because we had to get rid of everything, yo, dude, I walked out of that house naked. 
I walked out of that house naked and put new clothes on and got in the car. That is crazy. I, I To go back in there, I had to put a hazmat suit on. <sighs> you remember that? I had to get naked in the backyard and put a fucking hazmat suit on that and is, walk through. That is insane. But I will tell you what it taught me. It's just stuff. Yeah, it's just materialistic stuff. None of it is important. And at the end of the day, what was important was when, that you guys were healthy and safe. When your mom and I walked out of that place and I told her, I go, leave everything, get in the car. We're not coming back here. We got in that car and we drove to a hotel and there was like a sense of calm. Right. Uh, it, it, about a day or two later, it, you know, after you're, you know, whatever self pity or you go through the emotions, stuff like that. Yeah. I realized I don't miss any of that stuff. It's just stuff. Just stuff. All the sentimental stuff is still just, kept. Just stuff. All the wedding no, pictures, all the photo albums. We did not keep all the sentimental stuff. No? No, dude. We oh. got rid of tons of memorabilia and tons of sentimental stuff that we had picked up over the years through things that were important. Mm. We kept family pictures, period. Yeah. And we only kept this family pictures that hadn't been digitized. Yeah. Anything that was digital, we could get rid of. Right. But we get it. But it re made me realize what was important. And what was important was me and your mom. 100%. Your health is the most important thing at the end of the day, no matter, no matter what it is. Like if we had to move out of this house because it was due to our health and I had to leave all of my shoes, I have, and I, this, this is not a humble brag, this is more like admitting to a problem. I have thousands of dollars yeah. in shoes you at do my house. Problem. Oh, it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousands of dollars in shoes at yeah. my house. Yeah. And if it was either and it was either stay in there and not feel good or leave and get better. And it's for me and Iman, I'm leaving the shoes. I'm getting out. I'll sell the shoes, do whatever. Yeah. But the health is the most important thing at the end of the day. Yeah. Always. We didn't, I didn't sell anything. Well, right. You didn't have any valuable shoes. I would have sold my stuff. P people just get to go through and pick. I did. Yeah. T-shirts. I went, I went and picked a lot of graphic tees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many good graphic tees over the years. Yeah, had, dude. Had to go in and sweep jackets. It out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the. You know maybe the craziest thing. You know the thing that I miss the most, mm. and have thought of the most. Mm. Out of all the belongings, wait, give me a hint. I want to try and guess this. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Give me a hint. Really? Wanna, is it something I know what it is? I mean, yeah, you know. Okay, know them. Well, I mean, it's not a person, but like it sounds like you have multiple of them, or it's a pair of something. It. Okay, it was something that I had still had from Seattle. Oh. Something you had still had from Seattle? Mm -hmm. It all like fairly normal stuff? Or like, uh, was it like comedy memorabilia? You weren't in Seattle for fairly normal? No. What am I talking about? Yeah. I, I don't know. It, it was my pair of Doc Martens. Oh, the original Docs? Mm -hmm. The ones I, from like 95? In 90, yeah. I bought them in 90. I did buy them in 94. Mm-hmm. And these are older than me. Yep. I had gotten them resold a couple times. Oh, yeah. But that leather was so Broken soft. Broken in. And you fucking, loved those shoes. Oh, my God. You wore those everywhere. Well, they symbolized a lot to me. It's for look, Can I take a guess? Sure. Kind of symbolized you You never want to forget where you came from. Like, like you've worn those. You wore those throughout all the trials and tribulations for your comedy career, raising kids, meeting mom, doing all that. It was a symbol kind of of like... Like to never forget what you've been through and where you started and where you are. They were my only pair of shoes for a long time. Oh, okay. Oh, until you got that pair of shoes when you were on. Yeah, home they were my only pair of shoes, man. You know, and, and so they seen a lot, and so yeah, it was. Uh, that may be the the thing that, but, but but I understand that. At the end of the day, dude, just docs. Yeah, who fucking cares? Just shoes. Who cares? Yep. I, I, um, yeah. What a weird time that was, dude. Mm -hmm. What a weird time. Yeah. It was a weird time and annoying. I you had, moved I had to me move, out of, oh my God. I had to move you guys in and out of so many places. And they all had, were three levels and they all had a lot of stairs. Oh my God. <laughs> after like the last, after like the, like the, I don't remember what number it was. Yeah. But after that, every time you guys text me, I was like, I'm working or I'm busy. I was like, I'm not, I, I can't, I can't do it. Cause I also, there was a part of me in the back of my head. I was like, are they staying there? Just because it had happened so many times. I yeah. wasn't wishing it upon y'all, but like, I was like, just track record. This is probably going to happen again. Like, yeah, it, dude. it was, it was a lot. I moved them in and out of probably out of the 15. 10 or 11. 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah, ten or eleven. The, the, the boys had to help out too. Evan mm -hmm, came mm -hmm, to help mm -hmm, with that mm -hmm. one uh, on Crescent Heights. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I called in a lot of help because I was like, yo, I'm tired. I need some help. They've made me do this 13,000 yeah, 13, times. It was a shit show, yeah. but we made it happen. We're here man, now, man. We made it happen. Oh, yeah. Hey, man.